Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a tutorial video, so I thought it was about time that I uh, made a new one for you. Today we're going to learn how to do like the ghost gun effect that you've probably seen other editors use. Um, I mean, there are other tutorials on how to do this as well, but I figured this would be a nice quick talk tutorial um, for you guys, and I hope you find it helpful. Let's crack on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously open up After Effects and create yourself a new composition. Um, these are my composition settings. Uh, the width and height match the resolution that I've recorded the uh, clip in. Um, and I've got it set to a uh, frame rate of 30 FPS. Um, and then after that, all you want to do is import your clip. Um, it's worth noting that this works best with games like Counter-Strike Go um, and like Call of Duty where you can um, record your clips in separate layers. Um, you'll see what I mean. I've got my depth of field layer. I've got my um, literally my gun model layer and then the world layer. Um, you probably can do this in other games such as Valorant and whatnot, um, but it'd be a very long process and you'd have to go through masking each individual frame to be able to separate your gun from the background. Um, I won't be going into that in this tutorial um, and it might be something I'll look at in the future but for now we're just going to go ahead and use my Counter-Strike Go clip here I'm just going to import those in to After Effects and then I'm going to place these on the timeline um, write these down here field and I'm going to hide my depth field layer and there we go. Um, and I'm just going to use key light to remove the green screen. Just by doing that, picking that. And I'm just going to increase my clip black to make it look a little bit cleaner to about 30. Um, and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to isolate a gunshot here. Okay, so I've now um, trimmed my clip. So it is just the gunshot. As you can see there, I'll scrub through it. Um, and now we need to figure out where we want the ghost effect to appear. Um, ideally for me, it's where the gun kicks here. Um, Cause I think it'd be pretty cool as, as the gun goes back down, he leaves the ghost trail behind. So um, yeah, I'm gonna find the part where the gun starts heading back down, which is there. And I'm going to press Control Shift and D on my keyboard to split my gun there. So um, now this part here, which is the part I want to ghost, is on its own. And now um, I'm going to duplicate this layer four times. So Control and D on your keyboard to duplicate. Um, so one, two, three, four. Um, and now we've got five layers in total of the gun moving down. Okay, so now that we have all of our layers set up, it's time to create the ghost effect. So all we're going to do is be moving the layers to the right slightly. Um, so the very first layer, which is your top one, we're going to leave exactly where it is. Uh, the one beneath it, we're going to move one frame to the right. Then the one below that, a frame to the right of the one above it, and so forth. So now we've got this delayed effect. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is um, select the four layers that you've moved. So the one that we're on and the three above it and find the place where we want the ghost effect to finish, which is about there for me. And press Control Shift D on your keyboard and then delete all of these parts to the right. And then after that, it'll go back to having just the one in time um, part of your clip. Now, as it stands, it's not the uh, prettiest of looking. So we're going to improve this by playing around with the opacity of the individual layers. So um, we're gonna leave it as obviously the, the main layer as 100% opacity. And we're gonna go down to the next layer and press T on our keyboard, which brings up the opacity um, option over here. I'm going to reduce this one to 75%. And then I'm going to go down to the layer below that. And I'm going to reduce the opacity to 50%. And 
And then the one below that, press two on your keyboard again, reduce the opacity to about 25%. And then the last layer, I'm going to reduce down to somewhere around 5%. Obviously these opacity levels you can play around with to try and find something that you feel works for you. But that there creates that sort of ghosted effect, as you can see, which looks pretty cool. So that is the basics of the, the ghost effect. Um, the great thing about this is then you can start playing around with adding effects to these individual layers. So you can start adding glows and all that sort of thing. Um, I won't go into that in, in this tutorial. I don't want this to just be a, a quick one for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this helpful. And like and subscribe and I'll see you in future tutorials. Cheers, guys. Catch you in the next one.